Hello from Sweden and welcome back to another pick a card reading. In today's reading we're gonna look at what will change your life forever and to do this reading I have prepared three different piles with cards that will be three separate readings. What you do is that you choose the pile that you feel the most drawn to and that will be your reading today. As always we will also take one additional card together that you get to see faced upwards and hopefully that will help you to find that right reading for you today. So let's go for it. Whoops. Yeah, pile number one is making itself known to somebody. So let's go for it here. What will change your life forever? What will change your life forever? Look at that. I feel pile one, it's definitely pile two and pile three. Pile one, dolphin. Pile two, scorpion. And pile three, unicorn. Okay, that is the options for today's reading. If you need more time, you can just pause the video. Otherwise, you'll find the timestamps shared in the commentary section. They will take you directly to the pile and the reading that you have chosen today. And I will see you in your separate readings. Hello, pile one, and welcome to your reading. What will change your life forever? And I mean, you felt drawn here to the beautiful dolphin. And this card was kind of like uh, sticking out the whole time in the intro. Like I couldn't even let it go. I don't know if you saw it, like I was fixing the card. So I feel like really some strong energy and some strong messages for you here in pile number one. Dolphin is all about joy, happiness and joy and connection. Look, even though this dolphin is even smiling here. We also have the water element, so emotional, uh, yeah, emotional fulfillment, contentment, happiness. Let's put this over here and we're gonna dive into what will change your life forever. So we're gonna put your tarot cards to the side and let's look at some more oracle cards. Actually, the first card here is a tarot card, but it looks like an oracle card. So I, I like to have it in this part of the reading. Dreams coming true, oh my God, yeah. Nine of cups with dreams coming true. What will change your life? Yeah, some re a really, really happy event is gonna change your life forever. And probably that you, your dream is coming true. Mm. I think we're gonna look at the rest of the cards as well. I mean, wow, butterfly, <laughs> I mean, dolphin, butterfly, dreams coming true. Yeah, looking good, pile number one. And it says, love who you are. It also has a number one, you know, a new beginning. The thing that would change your life forever is you stepping into a new beginning and the catalyst for that new beginning is a, a, a big dream of yours coming true. And I mean, you're like joyful super happy dream like uh, this is gonna be something big I think coming through and uh, you know with the butterfly here also shows me that reaching that dream also was some kind of a p painful process you know the caterpillar goes to be goes through the metamorphosis to become a butterfly it's kind of a painful transformation or it is a, some kind of a transformation, it doesn't have to be painful, but some kind of a transformation. There is a journey that you went through to reach your dream. And that is also why it's so beautiful when it finally comes to fruition or when it comes to become your reality for you because it has been such a journey for you and you've been want it's a dream i mean a dream is a dream you know a dream is nothing small a dream is something that we want we're, we're dreaming of it with all, with all our hearts energy so yeah mm. and that's gonna push you into a new beginning or not push you maybe just open a new door i think like open up a new life for you completely 
and it and that makes me tells me it has to be something big you know big dream of yours that comes to uh, reality uh hmm so let's continue friendship wow so we have the moon in cancer in the fourth house with friendship well wow, it's so it's so beautiful <sighs> What will change your life forever? It's going to be people coming into your life or... You know what? It's like a big dream of yours, like I said, is coming true. That opens up a new door for you. It's like the transformation is kind of done or the journey is done when it comes to this dream. And you step into that new door. You step out into the light. And on the other side, you know, they say the grass is not greener on the other side. But I think the grass is greener for you on the other side. <laughs> Strangely. But it's like, you know, you went through this whole thing like in your life. There was like a lot of heaviness and a lot of challenges i think and and yeah like i said the, the transformation process is a journey in itself and it can be painful at times and it's like when you step out of that door when it finally when your dream finally comes true here it's like a big weight is being lifted out of your shoulders that's why i say it's something big it's not, a weight is lifted out of your shoulders all of a sudden you feel lighter you're like you're not carrying there's, there's burdens, yeah, there's things being lifted out of your shoulder with this coming through. So I don't know, maybe this is going to give you some kind of freedom in your life, this dream. Maybe some fin financial freedom, maybe some time, like you have more time for yourself. Or I just see you like free freedom, freedom and joy is coming with this. And friendship here, it feels like we, got, we have the moon here, you know, the moon is all about emotions. We had a dolphin and the water element, so it's all about emotions here. I feel you really like finding, love who you are, finding yourself in this new chapter in a very like calm way, you know, in a very like... Yeah, everything is fine way. But because before it felt like you went through this whole storm, maybe, or storms, you know, like I said. But on the other side here, like I said, the grass is greener on the side. It's just like everything is just more fine. You are more okay with yourself. Your life turned out to be okay. That dream came true. It gave you, opened up many opportunities for you. Everything is kind of falling into place for you. And it's just like contentment and friendship. Could be like new people coming in. Or it could even be like you're strengthening bonds, you know, with friends that you have that are very important to you. Cancer energy here is all about, you know, uh, home. Home, family, friendship, being social. <laughs> Uh, connecting with people, you know, very emotional sign, connecting with people. So it could be like, uh, uh, yeah, I'm strengthening the bonds with ex existing friends or like new friends coming in or both maybe. There's just more, it's like your energy just becomes softer because you're not stressed anymore because I just feel like you, you were so stressed, you know, you were like trying to reach your goal, trying to reach your goal, you know, did everything that you could. And on top of that, there was other responsibilities and uh, trials and tribulations of life that you went through or, yeah, that you were going through or went through. So it was just like like things were piling up on you. So just feel like, like I don't know if you, my shoulders and my neck started to hurt actually and my back started to hurt. So that makes me feel like you've been carrying a lot of things. And it is like this dream that's coming through here, open up that new door for you. And with that, it's like the, the things that, it, it, everything just becomes so much easier. So there's something coming in here making it easier, M much easier for you, giving you space to connect with pe the people that you love in a new way because you're more calm and serene within yourself. There's just things are gone here and you are just like loving yourself. Uh, in a whole new way because you succeeded with what you want to do. You got rid of a lot of heavy burdens that you've been carrying and it's just like you know with the dolphin and the butterfly here you're you're have you're finding your fun self again so maybe you went through like a serious period of your life you need to be disciplined and serious or you, you know when we have a lot of things to deal with heavy emotion comes up and you know a lot of worrisome thoughts comes up we don't feel light and happy so it feels like that when that's gone you're gonna just feel lighter and happier. It's like you're regaining a part of yourself 
that you haven't maybe been in touch with for a long time because you had to work through some you you were like going towards your goal or you, like I said life just keep you, the tr trials and tribulations of life you know it was just hard uh yeah but it's like future looks bright pile number one yeah the future looks bright mm. And you have house. I was thinking that, you know, with the fourth house here, I think the fourth house is about, you know, if you if you want to buy a house, it's going to be the fourth house. <laughs> so, yeah, I was thinking, yeah, maybe something with the house here. So, uh, it could be your living situation is improving in like a way that you've been waiting for it to do you know there's security and stability coming into your life and it's it's like the catalyst of this is like i say the dream one big dream is coming through here freeing you and then all the rest of the things kind of follows that flow i usually use you know the metaphor of a dam you know uh, and I'm getting that here too. I actually think it's often in pile number one also that dam shows up like kind of in my mind as a metaphor. You know the dam and there's full with water behind the dam and there's like on the other side I see like droth. Is it called droth? Like no water at all. And then the one day you know something happens there's a crack in that dam and the dam just bursts open and all that pure fresh water just flushes you know nobody can stop though if the if the if the dam breaks you know the water comes flushing you we cannot do anything it's just it comes with such power and i feel like that is kind of what happens with you there's a big major breakthrough happening in a dream of yours and with that it feels like the dam is breaking and nobody can stop that abundance that you have been collecting you're the good karma because what is behind that dam what is the water symbolizing it is symbolizing your your hard work it's symbolizing your good deeds your intentions your dreams your wishes uh, the good karma like I said but also kind of your affirmations and everything that you've been trying to do has been collected there all the good things that you've done has no 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 good deeds or good intentions goes to waste you know it always comes back to us and it feels like you've been collecting it for a while now it's like about time that it's gonna burst that dam and come in so there's gonna be like a major breakthrough somehow you know and that dam is bursting and the flow is just flushing into your life and, I, and that's what i feel here it's like it's opening up a new door for you and because of this power of this energy you know the good karma that you have all that work that you put in all the good intentions that you had because it's so uh, high energy high positive energy you know hopes and dreams you know it's gonna come it's gonna flush over your life and it's gonna create an abundant flow kind of in all the areas of your life where things are really starting to solve you know you're starting to there's definitely like a big emotion emotional blockage being lifted because i feel here with the dolphin love who you are with the butterfly that you are becoming more light-hearted there was a heavy thing in your heart maybe or something going on with your heart chakra and definitely you know yeah actually yeah the shoulders the back you know it's about the heart chakra and the and the solar plexus and the throat chakra as well as but i think there was really something heavy on you i feel like whew, damn like I'm, I'm carrying this burden it's like yeah it's heavy so you're gonna feel light and 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 just yeah light it's just gonna be good and like and things are solving for you you know friendships and even love and house security and everything is just coming to place and it's like you know the, the some heavy fog that you have been uh some heavy fog that has been surrounding your life is being lifted away from you and all of a sudden you wake up in the morning and it's like life looks bright again and shiny again it's like okay everything is gonna be fine i'm fine <laughs> everything is fine like hope is coming back to you so if you lost hope you're regaining a lot of hope again you're getting new inspiration for your life and it just feels good it's just gonna feel really good again mm. so it feels like the catalyst is a major breakthrough that somehow makes your dream come true and that opens up that new door that you step into mm. 
Let's look at your tea leaves. Oh yeah, we have March here. You know March, yeah. So it could be March and March could have some kind of significance. I think March is the Aries uh, sign, but March is also springtime. And that also signifies that new beginning. And you know when the, I think this is called snowdrops. I think that's the name also in English, <laughs> snowdrops. But you know, when these come, kind of the first flowers that comes with spring here in Sweden, and they are, you know, beautiful white flowers and you know I think actually they are I don't know what it's called but you I think you're not allowed to pick them because they are like what is it called oh I, I don't know, remember the name now in English they are extinct extinct yeah you shouldn't pick them we're not allowed to pick them anyways that makes me feel like it's like an rare occasional major breakthrough dream miracle coming through it's like when it, when it, it's like Oh, this has been go this has been like <laughs> this been this has been brewing kind of for a long time you know and you know with all that like I said there's a lot of water in that dam uh, yeah there's a lot of water in that dam and uh, uh, so yeah this has been kind of brewing there for a long time waiting to to like kind of enter your life uh, and uh, yeah, I don't know what to say, so let's continue. Sun, yeah, I forgot what I wanted to say. But you got the sun here, yeah, happiness and well-being. Yeah, it's been brewing and waiting for a long time to happen. It's like a rare occasion, you know, how often does a dam burst? Hopefully never, <laughs> hopefully never. So it's like, uh, but this is in a positive sense, you know, uh, because at a certain time, it's just going to be... You, you, it's like you work at a certain time, you are bound to break through. You know, if you keep on working with yourself, if you keep on striving towards success, if we keep on trying, if we keep on meditating, if we keep on working with our positive affirmation, if we keep on fo focusing on the positive or the good deeds, the good karma, if we keep taking responsibilities for the bad karma that we have or the, the heavy things that we have to deal, if we keep on doing that. The damn, and I could cry now, I feel actually, because I felt like that is damn true. <laughs> that is damn true. If we keep on doing it, that damn, damn, the damn, damn, yeah, that's funny, is, is bound to burst sooner or later. So yeah, pile number one, giving you some inspiration here and some power. If you keep on doing what you're doing, that dam is gonna burst and you're nothing is gonna be able to keep your good karma away from you because you have good karma. I mean, you have it. It's so clear here that you have it. It wants to come into your life. It wants to give you secure security. You know, the house is also uh, showing security. You know, that this house looks a, li a little bit spooky, actually. And then we have the sun here. So it could, it looks, I just got that message. You know, the house also symbolized kind of our inner world you know if we have a dream when we are in our in a house the house represents kind of our inner world uh, what's happening you know in the sub could it be maybe the sub subconscious mind you know dreaming of being in a house so definitely like i said this is major breakthrough going through and like a i think a very deep emotional healing you releasing maybe ghosts and demons from your past you know your childhood or something and you're finding with the sun here and friendship here, you're finding your inner child again. This is the light, fun energy that comes in here. Finding your inner child again. Sun is coming up. Yeah, just happiness and well-being. Mm. Wow, I, I honor you for this journey that you're doing, pile number one. Mm. <laughs> okay, let's also look at your tarot cards here. <clears throat> the here of, and yeah, it's bound to be a spiritual journey in some way, you know. Uh, there, you're learning, you mean you're learning a lot, but this is going to be, you know, the major breakthrough is going to be some kind of a spiritual experience for you. And uh, with spiritual experience, I mean like a big healing or, uh, yeah, you like a spiritual experience. Uh, and it's, it's bound to come to you, like I said, it has to come to you. Like, it's like the law of nature. Nobody can keep, uh, you know, a flower from growing. And if, if, especially if, you know, if we, if the flower has the right soil, if somebody's watering the flower, if the sun is shining on the flower, you know, your positive thoughts are shining on your flower here. And yeah, we have the flowers here. Yeah. <laughs> so that we have both the flowers and the sun here. You have everything. If, if, if that flower has everything that it's needed, 
nothing can stop that flower from flowering so yeah you are flowering <laughs> by the number you're bound to flower you are bound to flower is that i don't know if that's the right way to say it but yeah justice damn yeah you're get you're gonna get what you deserve you're gonna get what you deserve and you deserve good things there's karmic justice coming to you there's a lot of there th this reading is a lot about good karma you know hard work good karma lessons that you needed to overcome you overcoming them and dreams finally coming true and burdens finally being lifted out of you and you finally stepping into some kind of a secure calm being in, like yeah yeah, just a content future, content life, you know, content life. It's, 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 you shouldn't say also say future, 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 because it's going to happen now, you know, it's so close. Don't think about it like a future event that is far away. It's not actually, you are kind of there now. It is just embrace the change here and just let that happen. Give the, give the dam the permission to break somehow. I, I and this sounds maybe strange. Uh, but I just felt like I wanted to say that give the damn permission to break open up to release and to let go and to let this abundant flow of you know all the good things that you have done take over your life and and help help you and, and no, no not take over your life and let yourself grow like the flower don't I don't know why but don't hold yourself back and then maybe somebody needs to hear that don't hold yourself back from growing into that beautiful flower yeah, don't hold yourself back. Two of Wands. Yeah, it's all about going forward. All about going forward. And we have an expanding temperance. Wow, I love that. Temperance, finding balance. And the last card, Eight of Pentacles. All the hard work is being... You're polishing. Look at this bird is polishing. It's coins, you know? Yeah, you know? <laughs> Eight of Pentacles. That's beautiful, actually. All your hard work is gonna give fruition, is gonna give you a good harvest. And it's, it's not just, you know, it's not the thing. You know, you can think like, yeah, you can think of your life this lifetime and everything that you went through and everything that happened and how far you have come. But there's just so much more going on you have done so much more to get where you are today and you know like in past lifetimes and there's just more to you you're not <laughs> you're not as small as you think you know it's not just you and your experience this lifetime there is a bigger thing to you and that bigger thing that is to you is kind of more your your long the long journey that you have done lifetimes 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 and it's actually a very very beautiful journey even at times it has not been easy at all. I really want you to kind of honor yourself and honor the journey that you have done and honor yourself, even all the aspects of you, you know, even the things that you don't like about yourself because they are a part of you finding out uh, how wonderful you are, kind of, you know, finding forgiveness, finding healing, finding your power finding your strength getting to know yourself so it's like with the hierophant here it's like and the justice here really shows like it's a whole whole journey that you you are on two of wands really expanding your energy finding peace and i really think pile number one you're meant to really shift your life and uh, you're meant to find the things that you want yeah you're meant to there's a lot of healing going on here mm hmm but this big dream here coming through, I am really happy for you. And I really think that's going to be one important thing, you know, one, one very important thing for you. And, you know, look at this, you're holding it even in your hand here, like holding the universe here, holding it in your hand so beautifully. So it's like you're, you're getting this. I don't know if you're getting it as a gift, but you're you're getting this, you know, it's a, it's going to maybe it's going to feel like a gift, but it is kind of the reward for all the pain and suffering that you had to go through. So there is like an on I just feel like I don't know why, but I feel like some of you really went some to some hell shit of things. And I just want to say like it was never in vain. It was never and you're like there is your guides and the universe sees the pain and suffering that you went through and they, they just want to tell you that they see you and they understand that it it hasn't been easy at times and 
they want you to know that nothing that you had to go through was kind of in vain or didn't have some kind of a purpose but they, they also honor you for having the strength to go through that. I don't and I don't even really know what I want to say, but I feel I feel a lot of compassion. I think that's there's a lot of compassion towards the thing that you had to go through. And I think that is important maybe. I want to put my hands actually on your heart chakra and I feel like I want to give you healing, like very deep healing. I want to give you like a soul hug and just say like it's okay. I understand. <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. Uh, and uh, even if it's not fine, that's fine as well. You are still loved. Everything is like yeah. Uh, we are here, they're saying, we're here, we're with you, we're, we're gonna help you like step by step, we understand it's not easy, but we're helping you step by step, and you're gonna reach that big major breakthrough and things are gonna fall into place, but I also feel don't wait for it to come, it's kind of just there now, open up to grow up, to, to open up to growth, open up to uh, see the good things that you have done, honor the hard work that you have done, honor the when you are trying, don't don't um what is it called don't hit on yourself for the things that you don't like about yourself or the failures maybe or that you're not trying or whatever you don't think is good about yourself don't hit on yourself for that that is totally unnecessary because with everything that you went through it is not an easy journey that you are on and it's very it's very important that you honor honor that honor that it's sometimes not an easy journey to be on and be kind and nice to yourself that is kind of going to be helping you a lot <clears throat> to kind of really i don't know it's like you have to give yourself the permission to let go or you have to give yourself the permission to grow something like that feels like it's very important here you have to give yourself permission to love who you are that seems to be some kind of a key here uh yeah hmm hmm Whew, wow, what an emotional reading. <laughs> yeah, very emotional reading. Okay, pile one, that was your reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel, hit that like button. If you feel like sharing your story in the commentary section, please feel free to do so. Either way, I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye, pile one. Hello, pile two, and welcome to your reading. What will change your life forever? And you felt drawn here to the school scorpion and i mean look at that po scorpion here it has some i think poison coming out of its uh, uh what is it called its tail we also have the fire element there so what would change your life forever let's put it over there i have hmm yeah okay we're gonna put your tarot cards to the side and let's dive into some more oracle cards here and you have throat chakra wow so throat chakra scorpio Hmm. There's a fire being extinguished in your life. Fire being extinguished. There's a toxic energy here being burned away. And your throat chakra is opening up. You're becoming your authentic self. Let's look at this. Fail abundantly. <laughs> That's what a funny. Fail abundantly. Hmm. Fail abundantly. It kind of felt like contradiction contradictionary yeah i think that's the right way to say it and you have uh, the moon in virgo and uh, the moon in the sixth house in virgo hmm moon in the sixth house in virgo health job daily routines <sighs> what's going on here yeah unexpected income i think i think you know, I think this has to do with uh, uh, changing jobs, actually. Unexpected income. Uh, health, job, daily routines is the sixth house. We have the moon here. The moon, you know, moon in Virgo. But the moon is like something kind of hidden a bit. Uh, so it could be like you are not, you are not happy with your job. And uh, fail abundantly makes me feel like taking that risk the chance to follow your dream here with the throat chakra follow your truth here so you are in a place you know what's going to change your life forever is going you are going to change where you are so it feels like you are in a place in your life where you really don't like the, you don't really like where you are and uh, i mean the throat chakra here is really standing out look at this the color look at this 
I don't know, the vibrant blue here. And the throat chakra is all about following your truth, speaking your truth, living your authentic self, being your authentic self and living that authentic life, following what your heart is telling you that you want to do. And it is Scorpio here shows really like, like you don't like where you are. There's one area of your life which you don't like. There could even be like toxic energy there. Maybe your, maybe your colleagues, maybe just like, uh, could be some other toxicity that you're stuck in. But I don't know why this, yeah, because of the sixth house. Yeah, I felt like this is going to be your, some kind of job situation. You know, it's also about health, the sixth house. So it could be that there is some addiction that you're releasing and that would change your life forever. But the unexpected income here shows also that you're getting help, <laughs> you know? It's like there's gonna be some kind of unexpected money coming in and helping you take that step to move yourself from some situation in your, in your life that is holding you back to become your authentic self, to live your authentic truth. It's like you're doing something that you really don't want to do. Like you, you maybe you want to do it, kind of want to do it, or you don't want to do it at all. Or maybe you're living somewhere, you don't want to be there. Maybe you're struggling with an addiction that you actually don't really want to do, but you're kind of stuck with it. And it makes you stuck. And I want to like, yeah, I have to take a sip of my tea. <clears throat> I just wanted to cough really bad here. <clears throat> hmm. Fail abundantly. Like you're scared of failing or taking the risk. Fail abundantly. Kind of, I don't know, even know if I understand that right. But order. Something is not in the order. Something is not the way it should be in your life. It's not, and, and with that said, it's not the way that you actually really want it to be. It's like you are withstanding some kind of a situation, but really not, still really not feeling fully good about it. Like you would like to do something else, but there's could be like something is, you know, the Scorpio, like the Scorpio, you know, it's a, uh, the toxicity can be very luring energy, you know, can hold us back, some kind of addiction, some kind of obsession. And, you know, maybe even safety, you know, you have a job, you get money, you're scared of like taking the leap of faith. So what's going to happen here to what will change your life forever it seems to be some kind of unexpected income coming to you in some way. It could even be that some of you take, get, get like a loan from the bank or get something from the bank or you're selling something or you get more money than you thought. But the money here is helping you free yourself from this thing. But if it's an addiction, hmm, hmm. Yeah, I don't know, but there's like giving you more space. Let's continue, let's continue with the cards. Let's see how it develops here. The bell, an announcement. Yeah, look at that, announcement. You are making an announcement that you're quitting your job, that you're moving from your friend or partner or house or whatever that is. But yeah, you're making an announcement. Uh, hmm. Bell announcement, another moon changes in your life. Wow, look at that. So yeah, changes. So yeah, there's definitely things going on here, you know, with the moon. And you know, Virgo energy is like, Virgo unbalanced energy is like the biggest criticizing energy ever. <laughs> and yeah, so it could be like criticism, hmm, toxicity. Could it be, if this was a person even maybe that you have a hard time letting go of? like a Scorpio obsessive toxic person and like you're stuck in some kind of karmic bond and uh, uh, yeah and there's a lot of things going on here with the moon you know hidden secrets or people are not saying what they're feeling there's a non-expression going on here with the throat chakra things are not being expressed here in this situation so what's gonna change your life forever is you for some of you, it's gonna be the unexpected income, like I said. For some of you, it's gonna be that your throat chakra really opens up and you are just like fed up with the situation and you're like, yeah, I'm just gonna take a leap of faith. I don't care if I fail. If I fail, I'm gonna fail abundantly, like kind of with joy. Yeah, let me fail. I, I like, there's a non-fear here. Like you're fed up with being scared. You're fed up with maybe going to that same job day in, day out and you know, your boss is depressive, your colleagues, there's like energy vampires or something, or uh, yeah, I don't know, something like that maybe, or maybe you're fed up with your addiction, you're, you're doing the same thing over and over again, your life is 
stagnant and non-moving or you're fed up with this friend or this person here that is kind of like drawing, luring you in, into their energy and kind of hindering you from releasing yourself and becoming free. Yeah, becoming free in some way. So freedom, freeing yourself. Uh, uh, becoming, it's like, huh. <laughs> I want to scream. Like, I, you know what? Yeah, I want to scream. <laughs> I want to scream and I want to throw things, you know? I don't usually do that. It was a long time. I used to do that before, you know? <laughs> before my spiritual awakening. And maybe probably a bit after as well, before I like dealed with like, like a lot of suppressed anger. But not, not anymore. I don't throw things anymore. But I feel like, throw, like this energy makes me want to throw things. I mean smash things up and like it's like yeah suppressed anger suppressed emotions things are not being said order and routines wake up every day dress the kids go to work come back with a smile you know it's like this i don't know somebody does somebody recognize themselves in this like everyday life is just like going like kind of a cl clockwork or like day in and day out things are the same but and you have a, could even be like you have a fake smile on your face, but inside of yourself you're boiling and like let me out of this prison. <laughs> it's like you would like to go naked to work just to shock everybody and just to stir up the emotions. I don't know if you want to do that, but this this is kind of the feeling. It's like breaking out of the cage. That's how it feels like, and you can hear my voice here. It's like has a lot of power now. It has a lot of ah. Like, let me out. So yeah, I don't know what kind of prison that you are in, if it's an addiction or toxic people or job or just an everyday life with kids and a husband or a wife and or fear or what is this? Like, uh, hmm, announcement, a moon. Yeah, there's ch changes, a lot of changes here. A lot of changes. Things are coming up to the surface here. And it's what will change your life forever is you kind of, Saying enough is enough, I think, and speaking your truth, saying what you want and go getting what you want, going after what you want. Some of you might take a loan here from the bank, like I said, I kept getting there. So a loan from your bank to move, actually to give yourself maybe, to, you know, you, you, just, you just can't go to your job anymore, you just call your boss, say, yeah, I'm not coming, you know, <laughs> I'm not coming anymore, and your boss like, why, he says, why, and you're like, yo, I just don't want to, <laughs> I just don't want to come anymore, I want to sleep, I want to, I like, I don't want to, and you're taking like a little loan from the bank maybe, or maybe you saved some money, or you got, you, or some of you are getting that unexpected income, that you can do that, so you can take like time off and figure out what you're going to do next, and I think figuring out what you're going to do next is going to be pretty, I just feel like you need, I don't know pile number two, I just feel like you need a vacation. I mean, you need like some calm time. I, I really hope universe is, is it's in their plan to give you like a big break, like not to worry about money for a while, definitely not to worry about toxic, annoying people for a while. And just like, come on life, leave pile number two just alone and let them just like sink into their own energy and like really feel of what they really want. Because I feel like, I don't know if you've been lost or if it's just been a lot, but it feels like you're gonna find what you really want and it kind of it's gonna be like a next thing here. But the thing that would change your life is is releasing, releasing this thing that you're stuck in. What is it that you're stuck in? I think you know what I mean, but you're stuck in something. Releasing that would change your life forever. Whew. And I feel like I talked so fast, you know, I felt like I ran up the stairs and up and down here, but whew. so yeah. It's been stressful. Whatever you are, it's like, oh, stressful. That's why it's like, you know what, what it feels like? It feels like I'm stuck in a discotheque. I don't know, like a discotheque is probably a pretty old world <laughs> word, <laughs> discotheque, in a rave. Yeah, maybe that's an old word too, but I'm getting old. <laughs> maybe you don't say rave anymore. So anyways, you are at the rave and you're stuck in that room with loud music and you can't get out. And it's like, whoo. Like the tension, it's like a tension. Yeah, it's tension. It's like a boiling pot here. And you know, like one of these teapots uh, that has, you know, when it boils, there's a sound that goes, Meep! 
<laughs> like like that. That's how it feels here. Like something is boiling. Something is reaching its boiling point. It's climax. It's like it, it, the energy is so tense. Like it's like somebody is gonna throw something. Something. Somebody is gonna throw something soon or run naked to to their job and say, "I'm gonna quit my job. I'm I'm gonna like I don't know." It's like you're. It's like you are on the verge to go crazy if you don't release this. Actually, <laughs> that's how it feels like. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a big release here. Emotional. Uh, yeah, fire, yeah, fire energy, Scorpio energy, aggression, tense energy, suppressed energy, it's like, let me out of the cage, I cannot have this fake smile anymore, or something like that, uh, and, uh, yeah, that's how it feels here, <laughs> that's how it feels here, it was an intense reading, I like it, actually, I feel like I'm getting, like, a release when I talk about this, so, yeah, release of energies here, <clears throat> nine of cups, I mean, yeah, you are going after your dream, you're saying enough is enough. You're getting the money somehow to go after your dream. You you release. You you're like no enough is enough. I'm tired. I'm not gonna goodbye Scorpio. You're saying here, and uh, you're you're bringing up the emotions. You're freeing yourself from the cage. In Nine of Cups, you go after your dreams. You get you you go after what you really want instead of this. Mm -hmm. And Five of Pentacles, yeah, look at that, being out there in the cold, doing something that you really don't like, even could even be affecting, you know, with the sixth house here, that's about health, could even be affecting your health, and uh, yeah, you're struggling with fatigue, depression, pains in your backs, pains in your legs, pains in your head, you know, <laughs> pains everywhere, and uh, yeah, depression, boredom, uh, Supre I keep getting like suppressed emotions not 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 I feel like it really some of you need I, I want to scream I really mean it I want to go out and I want to scream like a crazy person some of you need to let that crazy out of you I mean it like let that crazy out of you it's, it's making you sick to keep it like tightly inside of you it could even be for years you've been keeping that energy of just ah, you know so yeah keep that out let that out of you and it's gonna release a lot of like heaviness you know pains and heaviness on your body and the high priestess yeah pile number one pile number two i mean like you are you're gonna reach a point what will change your life it's when you're fed up you're fed up you're like though i don't want to live a half life anymore i want to live my life to the fullest i don't want to do something that i really don't want to do because of fear of leaving it or because of waiting for something to change in the situation so from some of you maybe you're waiting for something to change or somebody to change in the situation but you're like no i'm fed up i want to follow my dreams now so it's like Wow, I I I I love you, Pal too, for doing this. I really like this is gonna be fun for you to go through this change in your life, and uh, yeah, to follow your authentic truth and like what you want is just gonna make you feel so damn good. You have seven of cups. Yeah, look at it. All of a sudden, you have so many choices opening up for you. So yeah, you doing this is going to open up a lot of doors for you. A lot of doors for you. And the chariot. Yeah, wow. Look at the beautiful card. So it's an owl and there's two cats here. <laughs> it's so funny. So yeah, fun life. A fun life. But chariot is like reaching success, but also forward movements. And we've been talking about kind of being stuck in something. We've been talking about stagnation. So yeah, you've been stuck. You 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 get fed up, and when you finally get fed up, you take action. You are expressing your truth. You're screaming in the forest. You're running naked to your job. You're telling your boss, "Fuck this! Fuck it all! I'm quitting. I am following my dreams. Let it all go to hell. I don't care. I'm gonna fail abundantly with a positive smile on my face. At least I'm following my dreams." Sorry for swearing. This is just the energy of today. <laughs> so yeah. <clears throat> And I don't want to be living in that order anymore. I don't want everything to be like kind of in that neat order and me having that, like, you know, everyday life. Just I want passion. I want to follow my dreams. I want to do, I want to have the change in my life. That will like, you will, you will go on that wagon and, and, and you know, chariot. It's going to, your life is going to move forward. Your life is going to move forward in a new way in a new way where you're more connected with yourself and it's like you are going to be happier with little money so maybe before if you're leaving something and i actually think money is going to solve for you so it could be like some of you are like scared because of the money but even if you are 
don't have money, you know, the same way you did when you were working that much, you're still going to be happier because you have freedom. I mean, uh, there's some things money can't buy, you know, you have, you have freedom, you have peace of mind, you have a peace of your mind now, you have, you, you are doing what you want to do, you're not changing yourself for somebody else, or you're not waiting for something or somebody to change, or you're not like just like I don't know what living your life on kind of half speed anymore you are following yourself and there's going to be so many fun things for you to uh, enjoy and find out on this journey like a lot of adventures let's do three more cards to see here oh yeah no let's do no yeah no let's do this one <laughs> let's do three more cards to see here if we can get some more information Whew. I felt like I ran, I ran a marathon or something here. And it is very high in this pile. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so pile number two. Do we have some last messages? Oh yeah, let's do this one. Let's do that one. And let's do this one. Yeah, I see this one sticking up as well. So yeah, we're gonna do those. Okay, pile two. Let's see here. You have page of swords. Yeah, page of swords. Look at that. You're like, I found the sword of truth and nothing can hold me back anymore. I found my courage and now I'm here and I'm gonna like take on the world and change my life. <laughs> so yeah, page of swords. It was a perfect card here. Ended up with, in, uh, uh, underneath also the throat chakra. Finding your courage, finding your voice, finding your balls, pile number two. And like doing it like do it doing that change in your life queen of pentacles i mean wow you you don't have to worry like i don't know what kind of fears and worries that you have but things are really solving out for you you know whatever your need on this new patch is gonna solve and you know it's gonna even solve better than you think because what you because the place that you're stuck in keeps you in the lower vibration. It keeps you in certain negative thoughts and feelings. You're stuck in those negative thoughts and feelings because you're not changing your situation. Not changing your situation means that you're going to be stuck with it. <laughs> so until you change where you are, you're not a tree you can move, like they say. Until you change where you are, you're just going around in circles, like kind of doing the same thing here. That's kind of like the feeling of the fake smile. It's kind of boring, you know, doing the same thing day in and day out. Not No big changes here going on. So... And what happens here is kind of as soon as you kind of find that courage or find, you know, I had enough, I want to change and, and you kind of release this, let it go, quit your job or whatever it is here that you need to leave behind uh, or quit that addiction or what it is, you're going to raise your vibration by, you're not going to be struggling with those negative thoughts and feelings anymore. You're not going to feel drained anymore. You're not going to feel bored. You're not going to feel like you're not following what your heart wants to do. You're not killing your dreams for money or for, you know, security or for safety or for, I don't know, waiting or giving back. If this is a person, maybe giving your power to another person, waiting for them to show them to change and show you that they love you or something. You're not giving away your power to some outer circumstance. You're taking the power yourself and you are making it happen for you. You are making yourself happy. And with that, you know, there's a whole thing going on emotionally, mentally. You're the, those old heavy emotions and thoughts are just going to disappear and it's going to be changed into nicer thoughts and feelings. You're just going to feel better. And that feeling better about yourself is going to lift you up into a higher energy. And that higher positive energy is going to give you, open up new doors because all of a sudden now you are, you are changing paths, you know, in your life. You're, you're, you're moving from a depressive path to a happier path, you know, and the sun is shining on this happier path. And with that, you're also becoming a magnet for good things coming to you. Good things that you couldn't manifest when you were stuck in this situation. Because like I said, you're stuck in this situation is keeping you in this lower vibration and this lower energy, but changing it is going to what's going to make you change paths and, and go up in energy, you know, positive energy. So you're going to draw a lot of good things to you that you couldn't even imagine that you, maybe you tried when you still were stuck here, but you couldn't because you have to first move your energy. You have to shift your energy to be able to attract those good things that you want. So Queen of Pentacles shows here that there's a lot of abundance and good things coming to you. You don't have anything to worry about following your truth and your authentic self is going to make things solve 
Uh, yeah, Ten of Swords. Yeah, it's a painful situation here, leaving it behind. Look at this. It's the end. What's going to change your life forever is, is finally leaving this painful situation once for all behind and go, go away. See, there's a man running away here. That feels like it's you. You are leaving this behind and you are going away. It's going to be the end of that. And Seven of Wands. Yeah, look at this. So it's been difficult here with the Ten of Swords and the seven of, one, seven of Wands. Ten of Swords also shows here disappointments. A lot of disappointments. A lot of pain. Look at this poor person here. Ten. He has ten swords in its back, you know, backstabbing. <laughs> but yeah, in its back, like it's an... It's a situation that doesn't make you happy. And then reaching for his broom here, but yeah, he really doesn't have a, yeah, he can't really reach it. But anyways, seven of wands also shows, you know, somebody like fighting, fending off people here, or energies here. So yeah, leave this behind. What is it here that is, this is the thing. Releasing, leaving this is what is gonna make, it is what will change your life forever. Because doing that is what is, helping you or that means that you're choosing yourself so it's like choosing yourself over this fear toxic situation this job that you don't like maybe a, a relationship that is long outdated but you're staying you know because of the kids or because of something because of fear thinking how it will solve i what i'm seeing here is kind of it is solving there's there's never any good coming from staying in a situation that makes us feel bad there's never anything good coming from giving our power away to something there's never anything good coming from feeling bad i mean we deserve better you deserve better pile number two and by i think getting fed up of not doing what is good for you and doing what is good for you is what is going to make the whole wheel turn for you from something depressive fake smile I keep saying that i don't know why but fake smile and into a, a real smile a real smile that comes from the depth inside of yourself but you actually are following your true authentic self what you want to do without any fear of what will happen on this path or not happen on this path nothing you know we always overcome bad things you know it always works out in any way it's better to try and to fail than to not try and to live and you know in the end of your life you're gonna be 90 years old and you're laying there and you're gonna die and you're gonna be like why didn't i try like what was the point of it we're all gonna die anyways why not try i mean shit happens anyways all the time why not deliberately try to make it happen in a good way or you know what i mean shit happens anyways you know so why not just try take a leap of faith so yeah taking a leap of faith here seems to be the big theme for you here and uh, I, I really think it's gonna work out just in a wonderful way for you it's gonna change your life forever pile number two all the power to you never give away your power to anything else uh, keep it to yourself create your own happiness and joy you can do it for yourself mm. Whew, wow, what a reading. I feel like full of power now. Okay, pile number two, this was your reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel, hit that like button. If you feel like sharing your story, please feel free to do so in the commentary section. Either way, I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye, pile two. Hello, pile three and welcome to your reading. What will change your life forever? And you feel drawn here to the unicorn. I mean, beautiful unicorn is all about magic and miracles and dreams. And also, you know, inner child. It feels like, you know, yeah, like some connection to the inner child here. Hmm, let's put it over there. And let's put your tarot cards to the side and let's look at your oracle cards here. And you have daydreams and decisions this is actually seven of cups i like to use it in this part of the reading because these card looks a bit like a tarot like oracle cards daydreams and decisions yeah it goes well with the unicorn here daydreaming miracles what would change your life forever hmm, making a decision maybe you have wear your party hat wow i mean wow <laughs> wear your party hat i love this card <laughs> wear your party actually you know what the party hat looks a bit like the unicorn uh what is it called i don't know what this is called it looked like a little bit like that you know pointing pointing somewhere making a decision pointing somewhere wearing your party hat finally taking that decision and doing something hmm you have seduction wow 
Jupiter in Pisces in the 12th house. Yeah, I was thinking, uh, you know, I, because this element here on this card, you know, the circle here is kind of the spiritual element in this deck. And, you know, the 12th house is like kind of really the spiritual spiritual uh, house. It is about uh, secrets. Yeah, the subconscious mind and secrets. We have Jupiter in Pisces. Pisces is, uh, its home is in the 12th house. So, hmm, introspection, limitations is also the 12th house. The subconscious mind, seduction. Seduction, hmm. Continue here, privileged lady, another 12. Another 12, privileged lady. You know the seven of cups? Uh, is also about kind of things hidden or illusions. Illusion, things hidden. Hmm, what is going on here? I think there's like a childhood, I just feel like a hidden childhood dream or something like that. Seduction, it feels like something, you know, that you want here. Wear your party hat, go after your dream. Go after your dream. Hmm. You have staff. You will be taken care of in difficult times. And you have a wishbone. A wish is granted. Actually, all the three readings are a bit similar. Kind of, not fully, but a bit similar with the dream. Kind of following your dream or getting your dream. Unicorn. And I just feel, you know what I feel? I feel with the unicorn here, I just feel like, like sadness which sounds strange but i feel like a a sadness overlaying this situation here so what would change your life forever it feels like a childhood dream coming true or you taking the decision to go towards it could even be love situation coming true here with the seduction the Pisces, oh, the Pisces is so highly emotional. And Jupiter is all about luck and expansion. Oh, what is this? This is something very, very deep. You know, with the two 12th houses here, there's something very, very deep here. Something very, very, like, important to you. <laughs> something very important to you. And, hmm, could it be love, longing for love? Longing for freedom, longing for dream coming true. You're longing, there's longing here. A lot of longing here. Privileged lady. Wanting something. Oh, you, there's like, you never got this. That's how it feels like. That's where the sadness comes from. Yeah, it's like you were a little child and you didn't get that favorite toy of yours. Everybody else got it, but you didn't get it. Like some kind of sadness like that. Like... Something was maybe taken away from you as a child or not given to you as a child or you longed for something, you know. I'm getting like this kind of like, you know, like this romantic love story here or something like that. <laughs> it doesn't have to be a love story. It could be something else that you were longing for, you know, with the unicorn, some creative success maybe. Some fame that you wanted, or you wanted to succeed in something. You wanted to be good at something. You wanted to follow a dream. And somehow it feels like this dream got pushed down, maybe, or put aside, maybe, or just never happened. That's how it feels like. So there's just like sadness here, like a lot of sadness here. And wanting also but like 12 12th house here feels like it pu it's pushed down <laughs> so maybe you might not even know that you want this anymore or that is kind of that it's important to you so and i feel like it's being well, what will change your life forever is that it's kind of gonna i think it's gonna come up to the surface it's gonna remind itself privileged lady by entering your life so it could be that your dream woman or dream man like kind of all of a sudden enters your life or it could be like a dream uh, offer coming into your life or like somebody noticed like damn pilot tree you're really good in doing that you never told that to anybody you're like yeah i don't yeah, I can do it that much anymore like you used to play the piano but then you didn't or you used to paint or you used to sing or you used to dance and then somebody sees you and you're like damn you're good at that or something and they give you an offer and then all of a sudden your dream is all alive again you know it's like 
cast aside a part of you and what's going to change your life forever, you taking that part of yourself back and following that dream that you have and that will heal some kind of a suppressed not suppressed some kind of sadness i feel like in your heart of you not getting this before yeah you not getting this before hmm. with the pisces energy here you could be crying like i don't know like it could be a release of tears here in this situation hmm. Whew. <clears throat> you know what Let's look at your tarot cards here to see what's, what's going on here. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, look at you. This is definitely something from your childhood. You're, look at this. Six, you have privileged lady. You're getting something. You're getting something that you've been you wanting, that you forgot that you wanted maybe, or I don't know. You know, like I said, something becomes something that you didn't think that you wanted. All of a sudden you want it again. Seduction. It could be, you know, you were... Uh, you, you weren't interested maybe in romance or love for a long time. You, 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 you shut that down. You shut it off, you know. No more love. You had some bad relationships maybe. And then you closed the garden. The garden, it closed. <laughs> the garden died. Nothing is happening here. And then all of a sudden the garden comes to life. And all of a sudden you're like, ooh, I feel like I want love. And it's like, why am I feeling all these strange feelings all of a sudden, you know. And because it was... Uh, or, or it could even be like, it, this is going to be, I think, love or something like creative, like a dream that you have, like something that you wanted to accomplish, something that you wanted to be good at, something like that, that, that you didn't, you, you didn't have the opportunity to fully go after it. So it kind of feels like a garden that died. And what happens here is the garden is coming alive again. And it could, you know, with the seduction here coming up, it could be when it comes up, the energy can be a bit unbalanced because it's been hidden you know somewhere inside of yourself with the 12 paths here it's been pushed down hidden or put aside for so long so it could be that when it comes up there's going to be like a lot of emotions for you to handle when it comes up just because uh, it's like uh, hiding something in like the closet and you open the closet and it's like all dusty inside of there so it's going to be like when you open the closet and it has a bit of a funky smell or something so yeah just like the energies are in at the beginning stages a bit unbalanced and then it's gonna be uh balanced out and it's, it feels like it's, it's a big healing coming for you also when it comes to this your garden is coming to life and this garden this dream this wish that you had here is something very connected with your inner child and your childhood the, the ha some kind of happy side of your childhood you daydreaming you're fantasizing you know you're dressing as a bride and you want to get married or you know you are wearing your ballerina shoes and you're dancing or you're painting or you're writing you're imagining yourself as an author or a writer or a singer or an actor whatever that is whatever that was that that you had there and that you were like there was no fears, you know, with the unicorn here, no fears when you were dreaming that you had full, like, feeling like, yeah, I can do this, like, I can be, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be an astronaut. Yeah, I'm going to be that. <laughs> you know, it's like something like that is, like, somehow coming back into your life and uh, changing, like, awakening your heart, you know? It's like your heart is saying, knock, knock, and it's like you open, it's like, hello, here I am. Do you, do you, this is me, and you, it's like you're taking back a part of your childhood good self that you lost, and with that, it feels like a part of your heart is gonna heal. What a beautiful reading. I mean, I love this. <laughs> this was so, so, so beautiful. And yeah, with the Six of Pentacles here, it feels like, and the privileged lady, Look at here, there's a privileged, privileged lady giving you something. It could be that you are giving yourself this. Like, this is your inner child. Look at that. In poverty, you never got that. Whatever that was, maybe it's love. There's something, you never got that. And now you can give it to yourself. Or you're getting an offer from somebody in a higher position that is helping you reach this. Or that is kind of like cheering on you or inspiring you or something to, to go after this dream of yours and say, yeah, it's never too late. Go after that dream. Do that. Wear your party hat. Go after it. You know? <laughs> Wow, I wish it's being granted. Yeah, you're, you're like the fairy godmother is coming and giving you the wish. And yeah, hmm. hmm. Maybe some of you are even getting a toy that you really wanted when you were a kid and you know you never got it. And then all of a sudden somebody gets it for you and it's going to be very emotional and very healing for you. Yeah, two of cups. Wow, I mean, yeah, two of, I said that. I said for some of you, this is like romance. 
meeting your soulmate, you know, the garden was dead, yeah, you went through some shit, you closed the garden, garden died, now it's awakening, and all of a sudden somebody steps into your life and you're like, what is happening now? Like, I don't want to love, who's this, why? <laughs> or something like that. Uh, or like I said, once again, coming together with your dream. And the three of cups, I mean, celebrating. Celebrating, celebrating, celebrating. So much emotional uh, contentment, joy that is coming to this. The joy, yeah. It could even be soul tribe here. You know, meeting your soul tribe because it's tree here, tree of cups. And we have king of pentacles. Wow, king of pentacles. And we have two of wands. Yeah, this will move your life forward. This will move your life forward. It will change your life because it will help you awaken a part of your heart that you had long forgotten. You close that door. You put that unicorn in the closet and you close the door. You throw away the key. And uh, I don't know why. And I feel very sad when I say that, actually. I feel like I could be like, why would I do that to myself? <laughs> it's kind of like what it feels like. And like a forgotten dream. And uh, I don't know. Yeah, and I just feel like open. Op you're going to open that up. And it's going to be a bit scary at the beginning when you open that up, actually. It's like, yeah, it's going to be a bit scary. Seduction. It could be like, your seduction is like really not nice energy, actually. Seduction, you know, seduce somebody. It could be nice, you know, seduce somebody. But it doesn't feel like totally 100% pure. So it could have been that you had some past experiences connected to love that was impure. Connected to maybe following your dreams and then being disappointed. And, you know, it took a toll on your self-confidence it took a toll on your self-worth so you just decided to close that door throw away the key but what happened is you throw away like a childhood dream or dream of yours in that closet you put the unicorn in there you put all the good things with all the bad things and you close the door and i mean why not yeah that's what you did that's how it feels like you put both the good things and the bad things in the same uh, closet while 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 open and when opening that door yeah all the bad things are going to fly out of, of course <laughs> you know the demons are going to be oh like that <laughs> but they're going to fly out and then the unicorn is going to come out and it's like the dream is kind of you're taking back the joy and the, the, the pure feeling that you have towards maybe sharing your life with somebody towards maybe you know creating just creating because it's fun not because somebody's gonna judge you because you enjoy what you're doing because it gives you enjoyment it gives you happiness because you can lose yourself in writing or singing or dancing or acting or whatever you're doing because you like what you're doing not because you need to be the best or like yeah i think you're very good at what you're doing but anyways <clears throat> because you enjoy what you're doing so yeah taking that back just enjoying and that's gonna fulfill a part of you like I said, there's a part of you that has been closed that is opening up. Healing, your heart is healing in some way. And King of Pentacles feels like it's also giving you like st like some kind of a... I don't know, it just feels like you are sitting on the throne now. Yeah, now I am who I am. It's like this is kind of like hindering you from being your authentic self. Because it's a part of you that is not honored, you know? Like I said, you put it there with all the bad things and then it's not honored. And we need to honor every little part of ourselves and love every, every little part of ourselves to, to, to be that strong, grounded, powerful person that we want to be. Uh, I guess we all want to be happy and content. <laughs> so yeah, and so this little piece will bring you to that. And two of ones here also feels like expanding and moving forward. And, and just, I think like, this, this will also change the way you see at yourself. I feel like you're going to feel more like, I wanted to say sexual, but you know, sexual energy, chi energy is all about creativity. So everything here is about kind of the sexual energy, the, cre the creative energy, the life force. So you're going to have more energy because I felt sad here with the unicorn first in the beginning. I felt sad. I felt a bit depressed, maybe fatigued. <clears throat> and... That is like being disconnected to, if the garden has died, you know, if the, yeah, if the garden has died, you know, there's no life force there, you know, there's no sun in the garden. And we are, garden kind of symbolizes kind of ourself and our sexual energy. This is how I felt like your sacral chakra, solar plexus, root chakra. Anyways, yeah, you know what the garden, what, what I mean here, I think. So if that has died, I mean, there is a part of ourself that is kind of blocked and the energy are not flowing, you know, and that's going to make us 
tired. It's going to make us a bit depressed. It's going to make that our life doesn't really f feel meaningful in the fullest way. So yeah, this is coming back to your life. This is coming back to your life. Mm. And it could really be that you're getting some offer here. And this offer is creating like a big success of it. This is a business idea or a creative thing that you're doing. Could be like you're somebody seeing you, a privileged lady, somebody kind of that has higher, higher position than you or have some kind of a power or connection to connect you or to like maybe hire you is seeing you, seeing your talents, wants to, sees also that you are in a position where you are where you are in need of help to bring yourself up and they have a lot of money maybe or they have a lot of connections or they have the opportunity to help you and with their good heart they feel like pile number three I believe in this person and I want to help this person just because out of my good nature I feel like I can do something to ease this person's life and help them follow their dreams because yeah I believe in this person so somebody believes in you here like this fairy godmother comes in could even be that you're getting like a big donation from somebody that's not uh, telling yeah do anonymous donation or something from somebody or somebody could yeah for somebody it could be that anonymous donation but it could be something else you know you're an actor there's somebody that sees you and wants you in a role you don't have like a big resume or you know you don't have like a lot of experiences or you didn't do a lot of accomplishments or achievements like that you don't have like what it takes but they believe in you somebody believes in you and gives you the chance uh and with that, it feels like a lot of success is coming to you. It's like the, the one thing that gives you success. You're celebrating. You're getting what you want. King of Pentacles, I mean, you're getting what you want. A lot of success. So yeah, two stories here. Like you either either it's like kind of something romantic. You you can figure it out. I think you know what I mean. Maybe it's both. Yeah, <laughs> maybe it's both. Maybe that's kind of because uh, following our dreams, you know, it's very connected, you know, to love and uh, creat creativity, sexual energy, like I said. So it's all really like very close to each other. And and uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think we're gonna do three more cards. Yeah, we need to do three more cards to kind of see here. And I think we're gonna do... Yeah, let's do this one. Let's do this deck. So three more cards here. Let's see. We have some last messages here for pile number three. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> three cards. And you have eight of pentacles. Eight of pentacles. Hmm. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you know what Eight of Pentacles tells me? Eight of Pentacles is kind of somebody that is uh, not completely the master. It's kind of the student. The student. So yeah, it's going to be somebody. Maybe it's a teacher coming into your life. A teacher. Teacher and a student. Somebody's helping you go to the next step here. Ace of Wands. Yeah, look at that. Wow. This is just confirming everything that we said. Eight of Pentacles. Ace of Wands. You're going. You're You're taking the next step. You're taking the next step. The garden is coming to life. I mean, the garden is not just coming to life with the Ace of Wands. Look at this fire here. It is like, it's going to be in full bloom. And that's what I feel here. Like kind of when you open the door, it's going to be a bit overwhelming. Because whoa, like if you're, if your sexual, if your lust or sexual energy has been dead for a while, when it comes back, it's going to come back strong. <laughs> that's what I felt here with the Ace of Wands. Nine of Wands. Yeah, look at that. It, it actually, kind of nice Nine of Wands. It looks like there's, they're all on stage here and they are performing. They're doing their best performance. Oh my God, that sounds strange because we're talking about doing your best. If you're talking about sex and then doing your best performance. So yeah, this reading is turning out to be a bit fun. <laughs> so for some of you, you're going to have the best sex of your life. I'm sorry. Sometimes the readings, you know, you never know what they're going to take us. So yeah, for some of you else, it's going to be the best performance of your life or the best work of your life or the best book of your life. Something is going to be the best of your life here. 
uh, with the nine of wands and you are, you know what the nine of wands is also telling me, when you open that door, that, that's gonna, what will change your life here, you're opening that door that we have been talking about, taking back your garden, bringing your garden back to life, you're never gonna let that garden die again, that's what nine of wands tells us, you're gonna never want to let that garden die again, because you lost it once, you're not losing it once again, you learned how it was to be without it, you went through some difficult things connected to it, I think maybe that could be some karma you know you needed to face some disappointments and some pains maybe or you know sadness or whatever that was and and taking that back you know cleansing out the energy and taking that back is gonna be like such a such a such a powerful experience for you such a healing experience for you and seeing that garden in full bloom feeling yourself kind of alive and full bloom you're never gonna let your garden die again because uh, yeah you're never gonna do that you learned how it was to be without it and you know you feel better when you are blooming when you're happy you're following your dream and everything is fine Wow, whoo, part two of once. Yeah, you're gonna be expanding. You're gonna be growing so much, you know? You're gonna be growing, growing, growing so much. And the staff here, you know, tells me also this privileged lady staff, you're getting help, you know? So you're not just opening that door and all the shit comes out. You're really getting help uh, with this privileged lady here, or, you know, you're, you're, it's, it's not gonna be the same experience that you went through the last time. You went through maybe, you tried this before and maybe you were disappointed. You went through some pains here or rejections or something like that. Um, but you're, you're, you're not, you're not, you don't have to go through that again. You're getting help this time. I don't know from what, the universe, the divine, this, this person, a teacher, but you're getting help. Whatever it is, you're getting help. Mm. What a powerful, powerful reading pile number three. May your garden bloom with the most beautiful flowers and may you enjoy them for the rest of your life. What a beautiful, beautiful reading. I'm so happy to be able to share this energy with you. Yeah. Mm. Okay, pile three, this was your reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. If you feel like sharing your story, please feel free to do so in the commentary section. Either way, I wish you all the best. I hope to see you next time. Goodbye, pile three.